Hello everyone and welcome to Dr. Rajesh Biogenesis. This is a video which will explain you the symmetry elements that are present in OH point group. The polyhedra that is chosen is octahedra and for this octahedra the variety of symmetry elements that you can find is 48 symmetry elements and as I said it is variety, it has a lot of variety because if you compare it with tetrahedra or icosahedra you find different symmetry elements all the symmetry elements have been written here. There are C4s present in it, there are C2s that are being generated from C4s, S4 that is collinear to that C4 or the C2 generated from C4. There are C3s and collinear to these C3s are S6. C2s are present which are 6 in number and these C2s are different from the beginning C2s that I have written. After that C2s we also have two different types of planes, one is a vertical plane and the another one is a horizontal plane. Altogether there are 9 in number 6 sigma v and 3 sigma h. Along with this there is also inversion which is being generated from S2 or it could also be generated from S6. So now let us look at all these symmetry elements. To understand these symmetry elements first of all you have to remember the polyhedra. First let us go with this polyhedra. Now in this polyhedra these are considered to be the vertices or the corners. There are 6 vertices opposite to every vertice is another vertice. So 6 vertices are present in 3 pairs. Next coming to a triangular face there are 8 triangular faces and for each triangular face opposite is another triangular face which is staggered to it. So altogether there are 4 pairs of triangular faces, 3 pairs of corners four pairs of triangular faces. There are 12 edges and for each edge opposite is also another edge which is parallel to it. So 12 edges will fall in 6 pairs, 6 pairs of edges, 3 pairs of corners, 4 pairs of opposite staggered faces and 6 pairs of edges. Now let us begin the symmetry element starting from the corners. If I choose the opposite pair of corners you can check C4 is possible. right? from each pair of the opposite corners C4 is possible. Since there are 3 pairs of corners 3 C4s are possible. If this is 1 I will just represent all the 3. Now if this is 1 C4 this will be the second C4 and this will be the third C4. As I rotate 90 degree rotation will give an equivalent configuration. So this is 1 C4 principal axis, a second C4 principal axis third C4 principal axis. There are three C4s. Each C4 will generate three three elements. One is C4 1, C4 2 and C4 3. C4 4 is equivalent to identity we need not consider. So altogether there must be nine C4s. Out of this nine C4s, C4 2 is just equivalent to a 180 degree rotation or a C2. So that has been written here the axis of symmetry through the vertices that is present is C4. How many C4s are possible? 3. Each C4 will generate C4 1, C4 2, C4 3. So altogether there are 9 C4s. Out of these 9 C4s, 6 are simple C4s, C4 1, C4 3. The remaining they are C2s. These are the C2s generated from C4 2. So C4 2 means it is a 180 degree rotation, it is just equivalent to a C2. This is a C2 which is being generated from corners. This is a C2 which is generated from corners. So this C2 is different from this C2. Do not get confused and do not club them. This is a C2 which is generated from the corners which is equivalent to a C4 2. Right? Now through corners the axis of rotation is being completed. Now along with this corners let us generate one more symmetry element. Collinear to this C4 is S4 or you can also choose C2. There are altogether 3 C2s therefore there will be 3 S4s. S4 means C4 and a plane perpendicular to it will generate an equivalent configuration. So there are 3 S4s collinear to 3 C4s or within that C4 if I can choose C2 there are 3 C2s collinear to these 3 C2s are 3 S4s. Now let me compare it with C4s that will be much easier for you. There are 3 C4s collinear to these 3 C4s are 
three S fours. Collinear to these three C fours are three S fours. Each S four will generate S four one and S four three. S four two is a repetitive element, therefore we do not consider it. Three S fours will generate altogether six S fours. So the number is three. Total will become six. This S four is collinear to C four, or the C two generated from C four. So S four are also completed. Now, if I am choosing pair of a corner, through this pair of corner, we are able to generate C four, C two, which is being generated from C four. Also, S four is being generated. Corners are completed. Let's come to the triangular faces. Now, instead of holding it in this way, I am trying to hold it in this manner so that you can very easily understand. For this triangular face. opposite is another staggered triangular face and from each pair of this triangular face i can pass a c3 which is generating an equivalent configuration right i have to rotate three times to get identical configuration since there are eight triangular faces falling in four pairs from each pair a c3 is possible therefore altogether four c3s will be possible so that four c3s are being written here through faces c3 is possible the total number of C3 sir how many number means 4 C3s each C3 will generate C3 1 and C3 2 so all together it is 8 C3s collinear to this C3 will be S6 so wherever we are trying to pass a C3 collinear to it is S6 how to visualize S6 i'll show now corner is above for this triangular face which is towards you corner is above for the away triangular face corner is below now just let me pass S six S six means sixty degree rotation. Now, when I am doing a sixty degree rotation, look at the triangle towards you. It is not giving a equivalent configuration because in the triangle towards you, corner is above. But when I rotate by sixty, edge is becoming above. But you need not bother. This is half an operation, followed by a perpendicular plane. Now, this triangle which is towards me will reflect towards you. Now, it is an equivalent configuration. You check it again. Corner is above. I rotate by 60, then passing a plane perpendicular to it. This triangle will reflect towards you. That is giving an equivalent configuration. So there is an S6 which is collinear to C3. Since there are four C3s that are possible, four S6 are also possible. Each S6 will generate two to symmetry elements. S6 one and S6 five. Right? Collinear to C3 is S6. Four C three are possible. Four S six are possible. Each C three will generate C three one, C three two. Each S six will generate S six one and S six five. S six three is not considered because that will be equivalent to inversion. So total is eight S six that are possible. S six are also completed. Faces are completed. Now how am I going? You just watch. I started with vertices generated C four. C four is also generating C two. S four is collinear to this. C4. So we have generated C4, C2, and S4. That is completed. Come to faces. Through the opposite triangular faces, C3 is possible. Collinear to C3 is S6. So we have generated C3 as well as S6. That is also completed. Later on, come to edges. Altogether, there are 12 edges in six pairs. From each pair, a C2 is possible. You can check. I rotate by 180 degree. It is giving an equivalent configuration. So from each pair of an edge, one C2 is possible. There are six pair of edges, and hence altogether there are six C2s that are possible. So for the edges, you can check there is a C2, six C2. Each C2 will generate only one element, and hence I have written it as six C2s only. S4 collinear to this C4, or the C2 generated from C4. S6 collinear to C3. This is a C2 different from this C2. This is a C2 passing through edges. This is a C2 which is passing through the corners. Now we are left out with the planes. How many planes are present? Means nine planes are present. There is a little confusion in these planes. The reason is, suppose I am taking this principal axis C4, C4, and C4. With respect to this C4, whatever plane which is parallel to it should be considered as a vertical plane. now on that basis if i pass this plane which is passing only through the corners and from the center of the opposite pair of edges this should be called as vertical plane this should also be called as vertical plane when i pass this one which is passing through four edges that should also be called as a vertical plane vertical plane according to the standard definition 
okay so from each principal axis if i watch 1 2 3 4 there should be four four vertical planes four from here four from here four from here that should generate 12 planes but some of these planes are repetitive so to remove these repetitive planes what we have done is you just consider this plane to be vertical plane which is passing only through the corners and just from the center of the opposite edges and it is coming out so this is a vertical plane this is a vertical plane with respect to this principal axis next with respect to this principal axis third vertical plane fourth vertical plane that should not pass through four four edges forget about that plane this is third vertical plane fourth vertical plane come to this fifth vertical plane sixth vertical plane so with respect to each principal axis i am considering only two two vertical planes each plane is passing from the opposite pair of corners and cutting through the center of the opposite edges so this will generate six vertical planes each plane is parallel to the principal axis since there are multiple principal axis and each plane is passing through this principal axis two planes from this two planes from this two planes from this altogether six vertical planes are completed with respect to any principal axis this will be the horizontal plane because it is perpendicular to this principal axis now be very careful and watchful when i am passing this plane you just check this plane is horizontal with respect to this but this plane is parallel to this this plane is also parallel to this so when i pass this plane it is becoming vertical to this it is also becoming vertical to this it is becoming a repetitive plane for this reason i am not calling it as a vertical plane because it is repeating twice i am simply calling it as a horizontal plane with respect to this principal axis okay so with respect to this four edges is one horizontal plane with respect to this four edges will be one horizontal plane and with respect to this four edges will be third horizontal plane right i'm just repeating the points related to the plane with respect to the principal axis you just consider two two vertical planes that are passing from the opposite corners and the center of the opposite edges so one and two from this one and two from this one and two from this six vertical planes are completed horizontal plane with respect to each principal axis you take one horizontal plane i'll show a different octahedra which will be convenient for you now let me show this you just watch suppose if i am choosing right i am choosing the red one as the principal axis with respect to this principal axis the reds this one is a horizontal plane so that horizontal plane is passing from the red edges with respect to this principal axis with respect to this principal axis the green one these edges will be taking up the horizontal plane and with respect to the orange principal axis there is a horizontal plane which will take up these orange edges hope you got it right so again if i start one vertical plane second vertical plane right one horizontal plane orange right one vertical plane second vertical plane one horizontal plane green one vertical plane second vertical plane one horizontal plane so with respect to each principal axis there are three three planes two of them are vertical and one is horizontal so that will give you altogether six vertical planes and three horizontal planes if i choose octahedra you can watch that there is inversion present in it starting from the center if i draw a line meeting a vertex exactly on the opposite direction to the same distance also it is meeting a vertex and hence inversion is present in octahedra that will complete all the 48 symmetry elements okay let me just conclude that now if i am choosing octahedra there are six vertices falling in three pairs 
from each pair of a vertex C4 is possible since there are three pairs three C4s are possible each C4 will generate C41, C42 and C43 altogether nine C4s are possible but C42 is just equivalent to C2 therefore we just put it as six C4 and three C2 is generated from C42 so that is altogether nine elements. There are also S4 which is collinear to this C4 there are three C4s primarily therefore there are three S4s primarily each S4 will generate two two symmetry elements S4 1 and S4 3 that is giving you six S4s. S4 collinear to C4 is completed then come to the vertices are completed come to the faces. There are eight triangular faces falling in four pairs from each pair of opposite triangular face C3 will pass. Since there are four pairs four C3s are possible each C3 will generate two two symmetry elements therefore altogether eight C3s are present. Collinear to this C3 is S6. Since there are four C3s possible four S6 are also possible each S6 will generate two two symmetry elements S6 1 and S6 5. Therefore altogether eight S6 are possible and these eight S6 are collinear to C3. 8 S6 are collinear to C3, S4 are collinear to C4. Vertices are completed, faces are completed, then come to the edges. There are 12 edges in 6 pairs, from each pair of the opposite edges, 1 C2 will pass. Since there are 6 pairs of edges, 6 C2s will be passed. There is no SN that is collinear to this C2, so forget about that SN. All the rotational axis are completed, come to the planes. Altogether, there are nine planes, six are considered as vertical planes, three are considered as horizontal planes. With respect to each principal axis, actually we can generate four, four vertical planes, but they become repetitive. For that reason, what we take is from each principal axis, we are generating two vertical planes, one horizontal plane. Since there are three principal axis, we have six vertical planes and three horizontal planes. And for octahedra, there is also inversion that is making up altogether 48 symmetry elements for octahedra. Since octahedra is a conjugate to cube or hexahedra, you also find 48 symmetry elements for hexahedra. But qualitatively there is a change, qualitatively there is a change means for example, if I take octahedra, for that octahedra what we have seen is, if I am choosing the corners, from the corners C4 is generated. But when I am choosing a cube, through the faces C4 will be generated, right? There is a shuffling because these are conjugates. And if you can very closely watch, this is a corner where you can find a triangle, very small triangle. If you can very closely watch it, it is like a small triangle. So from the opposite pair of the corners, C3 will pass. For octahedra from the opposite pair of corners, C4 will pass. In this case, C3 will pass. In octahedra from the opposite pair of the triangular faces C3 will pass but in the opposite square faces C4 will pass. So C3, C4 they will shuffle, all such symmetry elements will shuffle but altogether you will definitely get 48 symmetry elements even for a cube because cube is considered to be a conjugate of octahedra. In a similar way you should also learn about icosahedra and its conjugate dodecahedra that will be given in the next video. Thank you.